Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you for ushering us into a brand new year. And we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that, Father, you are the resource of everything. And there is nothing in you that is cut short. There is nothing in you that runs dry. And so, Father, we thank you that you have kept us in that flow that we will never run dry. You always shower us with your blessings untold. And so, Father, we just want to give you all the glory. We just want to give you all the praise tonight. Thank you, Lord. Like the woman at the well, I was seeking for the very things that could not satisfy. And then I heard, I heard my Savior speaking, draw from the well that shall never run dry. Fill the well I was seeking for those things that could not satisfy then I heard I heard my Savior speaking draw from the having a conversation with this Samaritan woman. The Jews and the Samaritans had nothing in common those days. They, 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 you know, the Jews saw the Samaritans as outcasts. But Jesus, being a friend of sinners, was so comfortable having a chat with this Samaritan woman. And Jesus spoke to her about the living water. Hallelujah. And so in verse 13, Jesus replied, he said, Anyone who drinks this water, referring to the water in the well, he said, will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water that I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh, bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so Jesus was telling the woman that he is that fresh bubbling spring that gives eternal life. That life-giving water that gives eternal life. 
And so as the woman yearned to drink of that living water, so should we also yearn to drink of the living water. Remain in Jesus. Remain in him. Continue to drink of his living water. Because, beloved, to have eternal life, we have to follow him. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life.